So in today's video, we're gonna set up the smallest reef aquarium of all time. The smallest reef aquarium in the world. This thing is so freaking cute. It has a baby song. Oh, like that thing is just the cutest thing I have ever seen. I am so excited to set this bad boy up. It is like the scaled down version of the 220 gallon. I mean, I am in love with this baby little tank. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be putting inside of it yet. I'm thinking about a sexy shrimp, but we shall see. Really excited to unbox this with you guys. I've already opened it and taken a sneak peek. I could not resist that baby sum, I'm telling you. Going to be unboxing it and setting this guy up, putting in some rock. I don't know how much rock we'll be able to put in there, but some rock will be put and a little bit of sand and just get this guy cycling and add some new additions. I'm so excited. I've always wanted a Pico tank. Never imagined going this small ever, but I think it's the cutest. Like I could not resist. I mean the baby sump. It's, it's adorable. cutest thing I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. Look at the baby sump. It's all about the baby sump. You know, I've seen a lot of these nano tanks all around actually, but this is by far the cutest just because of this sump situation. I mean, this thing looks identical to my 220 gallon, just like minuscule size. So if we take a look here, we have the lights here and the back to them right there. Um, and then this little tank, which I guess comes out, out with the overflow and the return in there into the baby sump. I am just so amused by this little baby sump. I swear this thing, <laughs> if we can open it up. I don't even know how the heck this, okay. I'm trying to get this tape off. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so freaking cute. Okay, I'm guessing I have to take this off first. So I'm just gonna unscrew these little, the support here to hold up the lights. I mean, this thing is just so cute. So minuscule. It's like a tank for ants. Like, I'm for it. So that's the light right here. If you take a look, it looks just, <laughs> it's really nice. Really nice set of lights there. We'll try them out in a second. Let me not lose these. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. Look how freaking cute that is. This makes my life. It's so adorable and it's a lot smaller than I had. A lot smaller than I initially thought it would be. Like, I am not sure how on earth. I, I think like even a piece of rubble would be like far too big for this. It is so small. I need to like find a banana for scale. Okay, just to show y'all the scale, here is a banana. Okay, like this thing is so freaking small. So here is a overflow right here and the return <laughs> look how freaking cute the little baby return the little baby return and here's the little sump let's pull it out right here and see yeah okay that cute? this cute little lid here i suck at taking this stuff off of the acrylic i like always mess it up you know like the acrylic coating anyway look at this cute cute little little cover for the sun how cute is that and then in here we have our little pump our little pump look how freaking adorable this little pump is i cannot y'all look it even has the suction cups that oh my gosh the cutest thing the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I can't, y'all, look. Look at that little sump. Look at the little sump. I'm gonna say that throughout this whole thing because I cannot get over how freaking cute this thing is. It's like, I am totally enamored with this little, little, little tank. Little tank. It's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. This is the stand by itself. 
I'm in love. I really am. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with this at all. I have not thought that far into it. I know that I want to put sand on the bottom and I definitely want to add some rock, obviously. But how on earth am I going to be able to do that? This thing is so tiny. Oh, I'm holding the sump, but <laughs> this thing is so tiny. We'll have to see. I'm going to get some rubble rock and we shall see what we're going to do. I guess we're going to make like a mini aquascape. Like, so my biggest concern here, other than how freaking small it is, is the evaporation on this thing is going to be cray. I don't know what on earth I'm going, I forgot to set up the pump. I don't know what on earth I'm going to be able to put in here like coral wise or an, I really wanted a sexy shrimp and then like rock flower anemones but <sighs> this thing is really small and the fluctuations just from salinity alone are really concerning me so I think I'm gonna have to get like a miniature auto top off or something because I really don't want that to be an issue. So now it is time to plug the cutest little pump. Look at these suction cups. I, I can't. Wait. Why are they so small? There's like the mini pump. I can't. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cry. Ooh. This is so adorable. The little suction cups on the little pump are just the cutest. This is worth everything like in this in this little tank. Like I can't the scale of this is just is just maintain composure. OK, let's attach this cute. Let's attach this cute little pump to the return. OK, pop it in here. I'm not really sure how this is supposed to sit. Hook it up like that. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. This is kind of difficult to maneuver. Um, this is actually super finicky. I hope I'm not gonna break it, but trying to put this return pump on here is not as easy as one would think. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. So now that I've figured that out, let us screw the light back in and see what this guy looks like. I really like that you can, you have options here. So now that I have screwed this light back into place, it's time to get together some rubble rock that I have lying around and see if I can come up with an aquascape. Now I'm not sure how much of an aquascape I can create because there's really not much room to work with here to say the least, but hopefully we can come up with something that's semi-creative. I don't even know if that's possible, but I'm gonna try. So I just went into my garage and found a bunch of little rubble rock pieces that I smashed against the floor to get these mini tiny little pieces. So hopefully we can come up with something here, a tiny little cute scape to fit this tiny cute little tank. I am so excited right now because this is like scaping, but like on a micro scale. So I have super glue and I'm ready to go. This is gonna be so freaking cute. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is like the most adorable thing ever. Like, I love my little scape. This thing is just so small and so cute. I can't. I am so excited to get some water in this thing and place some corals in it. It's gonna be so cute. But because I use glue accelerator on the scape, I am going to soak it overnight in this tiny container, which just reminds me of how freaking cute this thing is. We'll come back tomorrow if they can ever get this out and um, pop in some sand and see how it goes. <laughs> it's so small <laughs> and there's just a little piece of rock.
I love this. It is now this. It's the so next cute. day. And I let my Aquascape soak in water overnight just because, like I said earlier, I use that glue accelerator and I don't want any nasties in my little baby tank. So let that sit overnight. And then I went ahead and added some old sand from my 220 gallon. I scooped it up with like a little turkey baster, you know, and I did this instead of using new sand because it's going to make the tank cycle way faster. And yeah, and why not? I mean, you know, I'm not going to go out and get new sand for something this small. I mean, seriously, it like it's minuscule, y'all. <laughs> so added some sand. I had a little bit of difficulty with this because the sand was clumpy, but I managed. And then after that, it was time to place my baby Aquascape into the tank. And it looks so cute in there. And adjusted my light fixture, popped that back on, and bam, bam, look at this thing. Look at this tank. It is so freaking cute. I cannot. Y'all, I am in love with this little thing. I truly cannot exaggerate. As you can tell throughout my throughout this video, my enthusiasm is unparalleled. This thing is worth every freaking penny. I have now a little mini tank in my kitchen and I just think that's awesome. So I will be updating on this baby tank here in the future and soon we're going to be placing a few corals in here. I don't know what corals we're going to be able to place because this thing is so micro. I was thinking maybe zoas. Some zoas would be nice. A zoa and some sexy shrimp. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments how I should go about doing this because this is this is definitely the most exciting project I have picked up for a while.